What's going on everybody? Chuck here and I hope that you are having a fantastic day today. I bought this. A 10,000 milligram ozone generator from the brand Air The Real. Air The Real? Air The Real? I don't know how to say it, but yeah. Utilizing a machine like this is gonna eliminate the odors in a confined space. And how does it do that? Well, from what I've gathered on the internets, this creates an O3 molecule. Oxygen is O2, so that third molecule of oxygen makes it unstable. And it wants to stabilize itself, so that third molecule will actually grab onto things like odors, decompose, and eliminate them, thus leaving behind pure ozone. I'm gonna link to some stuff down below that you can read on your own, because I'm not gonna pretend like I actually understand any of that, but that's just what I've read online, and that's how it gets rid of odors. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in a confined area. You want it to be a confined area free of any living organisms that you want to keep living. So no humans, no pets, no plants, because it's gonna eliminate the oxygen in the air. There have been people that have used these machines or an air purifier version of this in like their room while they sleep. So they're breathing in cool, uh, clean air while they're sleeping and they've had really bad headaches because you're not getting the same amount of oxygen that you normally would as you sleep. So nothing living or that you wanna keep living needs to be around while this is running. Because it is in the cab of the truck, the doors will be closed, the windows will be closed. It's completely fine to be in this garage. It's not gonna seep into the house and do anything in the house. It is perfectly fine in this situation. Now, this particular machine has a timer from 10 to 130 minutes. For a car or truck or a small area, 10 to 30 minutes should be more than enough time to eliminate the odors in the area. However, after you run the machine, you air the area back out. If the odor still persists or there's a little bit left over, you can run it for a little more time. Don't go, and I was originally gonna crank it up to 60 minutes. That may be overkill here. I'm gonna run it for 30 and see how it goes. So what I'm going to do, so I'm gonna place this on the center console like so. I have the plug. I'm gonna throw the plug in the back seat. I'm gonna go out through that door over there. Now something I did do is I went ahead, opened the glove box, I put the visors down so nothing is, all areas, all surface area is being exposed. That's obviously, the center console is not gonna be open. Uh, in the back seat, I picked up the mats and put them up. Uh, just so, like I said, nothing is being trapped. All area can be uh, exposed. And now what I'm going to do, no, I went ahead and plugged in the machine, but it is not plugged into the wall. It's just, the machine is just plugged here because once I plug this in, I'm gonna go ahead and close it into the door. That should be in. So it has been just over 30 minutes now. The car is in the driveway, obviously, airing out. I have opened the windows and doors. Don't know why I did both, it's kind of redundant. But nonetheless, I opened the windows and the doors. The machine is unplugged, it is still in there, but it's unplugged. And I have a fan in the back seat, and that fan is oscillating, just getting fresh air to cycle through the car. I also, when I move the car, I put the, uh, I put the air conditioner on fresh air, so that way it's coming through the outside of the truck, coming through the system, get some fresh air that way. Now here's one thing that you could do uh, that I didn't do, and I've seen multiple people do it different ways. I did it the way where I don't have the car running while I'm running the ozone machine. You could have the truck on, while the ozone machine is running with recycled air, so that way all that ozone is getting through your air ducts and getting any odors that may be stuck in there, including maybe your cabin air filter. I didn't do that, so we'll see after fresh air moves through the car and see how it smells when I turn the air conditioning on and stuff like that, but I'm gonna let it air out, fresh air for maybe an hour or so, and then I'm actually gonna take it to my mother-in-law's house to get her reaction to see how she thinks it's done. So. I'll be back with you here shortly. I've, we've been here for maybe a couple minutes. It's just been baking. Go ahead. I, I can't tell there's cigarette smoke. But there's something. There's something. I, it's not cigarette smoke. I think that's the ozone still lingering. Okay. Like I may need to air, air out for another couple hours in the garage. Because at this point, I can't smell cigarette smoke. Yeah. 
but I smell something. And yesterday it was strong. Yeah. So yeah, I'm wondering if it's I need to let it air out in the garage for like another couple hours, and then yeah. the, whatever that lingering stuff will come out. And then we'll we'll try again. But I at this point I can't smell cigarettes. Yep. So from the mother-in-law, it worked. Yep. And she has the the, the nose of a <laughs> hound dog. She'll <laughs> smell it. Um, <clears throat> it's neutral, which is what you want. It's like kind of like nothing. But there is a is there a There's not an odor. Mhm. Mm There's like I guess it's just like plastic. Like it's like the smell of <laughs> I think it's just it smells a little bit plasticky. It has been 4 hours since that last um session cycle finished you saw i went out and did errands and all this kind of stuff took it to the mother-in-law's house to get her two cents on it it's been sitting here in the garage at home for the last couple hours windows down had the fan in the back seat just um pushing air around and there's really no smell anymore like i don't know how else to describe what does no smell smell like neutral there's a, there may be a hint of ozone every once in a while, but other than that. So what is the final verdict on this Aerithiol, Aerithiol ozone generator? I am so happy. I went ahead and did this because there is virtually no stink in that truck right now. You saw me stick my nose in all the crevices. As you heard my wife say and my mother-in-law say, there is some kind of smell. We don't know what it is. Is it leftover ozone? Is it just the plastics? I don't know what it is. There is something left over and it may just end up working itself out over driving the truck, windows down, air conditioning running, those kind of things. But there's no cigarette smoke, which is the most important thing. Now, this thing does have a warning, and I do want to make sure I make that clear. Use in unoccupied spaces only. Anything that is living while this machine is running in the same space will struggle to do so as it's running. I, the second time I ran the machine, uh, the timer went off. I ran to the truck a little bit too soon after. I didn't hold, get a good breath of air to hold my breath as I went in to, to like open the windows and stuff. I had to take a breath and I almost couldn't breathe. Like there was a little bit of tightness in the lungs because I went and there was just nothing for me to breathe in. And so that just goes to show the importance of it. This will kill, also kill your plants. So just keep that in mind. But now the question remains, is having something like this worthwhile for just your average homeowner? I don't know. Um, because I do know a lot of detail shops have these machines for those really bad situations where they have a car that comes in that sells it cigarettes. It's part of their, they put it in their detailing package and you have to pay a little bit more for that service. And now once you use it in your home, unless something really bad goes on in your car that requires another sort of ozone treatment, you really don't have to use this ever again in your vehicle. Now you can use this in your home. So like, and we have two dogs. So one of them's a little bit older and she has accidents in the house. And so, until we replace the carpets, every once in a while I get a whiff of sort of that dog smell, if you know what I'm talking about. So putting this in that room may end up taking care of the odor, but we gotta make sure we're not at home when this is run running, similar to like if you had a bug bomb, you know, you have a fogger or something like that, nothing can be in the house and the fogger is going. Same thing to do with this. So it could be useful in a situation where you're using it in your house, but yeah, I don't know if it's really worthwhile having one of these for your average homeowner. It works really, really well, but will you get enough use to warrant the price? I don't know. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you all liked it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I do appreciate all the interaction that you all uh, give me on my channel. Comment down below, do you think an ozone generator is worth having for the average homeowner or is it just something that's gonna end up being used once or twice and then collecting a lot of dust. But anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of your day and God bless.
Yes, my daughter is crawling around in the front seat. So as I've said in the past couple videos, at the end of every video, I'm gonna go ahead and pray. You can go ahead and turn this video off if you want because there's nothing else long content related. That's completely fine, doesn't hurt my feelings. However, if you do have a prayer request, there's an email box down below that you can send an email to. You can keep it completely confidential if you want to, just your email, obviously, um, but you don't have to put your name in there or anything like that if you would like. And I will gladly say a prayer for you and whatever that need is. I'm gonna go ahead and pray to wrap this up. Dear Lord and Jesus, I just thank you so much for giving me the ability to make these videos and share your word, even if it is just for a couple minutes at the end of my videos, God. I pray that everyone that is currently watching, everyone that turned off my video uh, right as I started praying, whatever the case may be, I pray for everybody that you just show them favor, you give them guidance, Lord God, you help them in whatever they need, whether it's healing, financial miracles, family healing, whatever it is, God, that you just be with my viewers. Thank you for showing me favor and giving me the means that I'm able to buy my dream truck, Lord. Just help me use it to glorify your name. Bless that person that just drove by with their bigger truck. And I just thank you for all that you do, God. If anyone has a prayer request and they're not sure if they want to submit it, God, just give them the courage to go ahead and submit that prayer request because as you have said, if there are two or more gathered in your name, you are there. So if I'm praying, the person that submits a prayer request is praying for them then you are there and you're gonna put your hand in those situations. Be with everybody this Independence Day weekend. Let everyone have be safe. Let there be awesome fellowship, a lot of fun and fireworks as we celebrate our Independence Day. In your name I pray, amen.